it's one of the things that motivates why you need a very in-depth analysis of this issue is that they really go beyond simple measures like um, gross debt to GDP ratios. So, so gross debt to GDP ratios are something that you see reported widely in the press, but they may not be the most relevant statistic for thinking about fiscal sustainability. Um, and just to, to, to mention a few reasons uh, for this that are, that are discussed in, in the report, one reason is the role of entitlement programs. So gross debt to GDP ratios tell you something about, about bonds. So you know, there are different forms, there are different ways in which the government owes things to people. So one form in which they owe things is through bonds. They say they borrow a certain amount of money and they say they have to pay that, mo that money back sometime in the future. That's one form of debt. But then there are these other types um, of debts that the government has to the public. So for example, health care. So health care is another kind of debt where you say, I'm going to give you something in the future. Um, and that's a promise. Another form of, of debt, of course, is social security programs. So these are all different types of debt. And, and of course, uh, the gross uh, debt ratio is only capturing one of these types of debt. Similarly, there's the, the issue of implicit government guarantees. So aside from things like social security and medical care, there's the implicit guarantee that, that the governments make um, to, to, to essentially uh, ensure the banking system against massive collapse. And we've seen that play an enormous role in the recent period. So all of these are different types of promises that the, the government's making to the public, um, of expenditures that they're going to make in the public, but, but only a small subset of them is being reflected in these standard measures. And so one of the things I think you see in the report is that really there's this broad spectrum of things that, that we should be calling debt, and in some sense should be measuring. A second issue, which is really just sort of an accounting issue, is uh, when you think about the fiscal sustainability of anything, you know, take a, take a person, take a, take a company, take, take a government, you want to think about both their, their assets and their liabilities. And gross debt is really only a measure of liabilities, uh, because it doesn't include the, the assets of the government. So net debt, um, which, which the report um, you know, really focuses on, is something which tries to take, an, take account um, of the assets of the government as well as the liabilities. And in some countries, this is, this is a very important thing. So in particular, in the case of Japan, um, this is a very important thing. So even though Japan's net debt to GDP ratio still looks high, it's much lower than its gross debt uh, to GDP ratio. Um, there are also a bunch of other issues aside from things like foreign exchange reserves. There are things as complicated as uh, what if the government owns a lot of uh, a lot of companies that have, 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 have a lot of worth? What should, how should we think about that in terms of the asset position of the country? So just to just to give you a sense of um, how we should think about these entitlement programs, the fundamental issue really here is um, if we think about promises that governments make to the public in the form of bonds. Um, and we compare them to promises that the government makes to people in the form of things like social security or medical care. And we ask which of these, um, or how should we include them in some broader measure of debt? The question really is, um, how hard is it to default uh, on a bond as opposed to defaulting on something like health care or social security? And with social security, that means something like, how hard is it to, to raise the retirement age? With medical care, it's something like, how hard is it to change the, the things that are, that are covered in, in standard uh, medical insurance, that type of thing. Um, and, and you want to compare that to, in the case of bonds, a combination of, of, of literal default on the nominal value of the bond, but also things like unexpected inflation, which have, which have often been used in the past as ways of, of, of carrying out some kind of a, uh, a partial default. And really, those are, those are political questions. So, so if, if at first it might seem that um, that uh, calculating debt ratios or calculating some kind of debt ratio that's, that's relevant to fiscal sustainability is sort of a mechanical issue. You can see by thinking about these issues that it's not mechanical at all. It involves making kind of a complicated analysis of these political realities as well. 